So the next question is explain the working of biphase full wave rectifier circuit with neat diagram and it is asked for 8 marks. So this is a diagram, major di diagram of your biphase full wave rectifier which consists of two diodes, diode D1 and D2, the input transformer, okay, with RL. So, uh, and the corresponding waveform, you have to give the waveform also V in and V out. So what is the specialty of full wave rectifier? It rectifies both during the positive half cycle <coughs> and during the negative half cycle. So you have to write the working principle. So we have two cases, right? During the positive half cycle and the, during the negative half cycle of the input signal. So during the positive half cycle, that is from the time period 0 to T1, what will happen to the circuit during the positive half cycle of the input uh, signal? So here it becomes positive, negative, positive. So it is center tapped, right? So uh, positive, negative, positive, negative. So uh, uh, which diode will conduct? So here it is positive, here it is negative. Positive, 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 positive. So diode D1 will be forward biased. Here it is negative, positive, right? So diode D2 is reverse biased. So it, diode D1 act as a closed switch. You will be having the conduction. So the conduction of the current will be from positive to negative. So this is the flow of current. You can get the... A voltage output voltage across your load resistor RL. So what is happening to your second uh, cycle or second case from T1 to T2 during the negative half cycle the polarity changes of the signal changes here it is negative positive negative positive negative positive. So what will happen here it is negative the diode D1 will be negative positive means it is reverse bias it will act as an open switch but here it will be positive right positive positive it will be forward biased and it will act as a closed switch. So from positive to negative is a current flow, right? It will positive, it goes through the RL and it comes back to the negative. So this is the current flow. So this is how in both the cases you are getting the output across your load resistor RL. So the detailed explanation of all these questions will be available in the playlist, okay?